All right, what we have here is a 2015 Chevy Express long wheelbase van. This is a conversion van by Explorer Van Company, low top edition, nine passenger, extended chassis, so it's on the 155 inch wheelbase. Six liter V8, three quarter ton chassis. Um, 124,000 K, or 124,000K on the odometer right now and change. Uh, I'm gonna start up front here. This is a nice vehicle, uh, not a whole lot of damage here. It looks like it's nice and clean. White in color, obviously. Across the front, I don't see any damage. I do see a little bit of road debris wear. Um, a lot of bugs. And a little bit, well, I, I, like I said, I see some normal stuff. Looks like it was impacted here at one time because the paint's barely cracking uh, on the flat enduro bumper. But uh, that's all I see across the front here. The, the Chevy bow tie is delaminating a bit, which is really normal for the year. Uh, the hood looks damage free. I don't see, I see a couple stone chips that were here in the past that were, you know, touched up. Other than that, just a small ding on the corner of the hood, which I'm having a hard time seeing on my screen, so I hope you can see that out. But the sun is bright as it is out here. Um, <clears throat> 20 inch wheels, 20 by nines. Let's see here. I don't see any body damage along the outside as far as dents, scrapes, stings. I got a little bit of dirt runoff from the uh, window channels, which is fairly normal when these sit up by the highway like that. I don't see any areas of concern on the body on the driver's side. Glass looks good. Both the wheels look good. Uh, tires are awesome. I'd say about 90% tread there, if, if, if not more. I don't see any curb damage on the wheels, which is, again is highly unusual for a conversion van. Usually they're all scarred up. Um, don't see any there either. Tires are in great shape. I don't see any damage on this side either. The wheel looks good, the fender's good. The mirror's got some bug guts on them, that's free. Oh, I got a small. I know that'll come off. It's just marked on the van. Another one here in blue. Looks like those will come off. They're not in the paint. They're just on it. I don't see anything. Not even a little bit here. This hood has been driven, but uh, it's you gotta look for it. You gotta look for signs. Backup sensors, your class three hitch, backup camera. It looks nice. Gray, two-tone inside. You get the graphite and the gray, they call it. Uh, do got some wear marks, like they hug cargo or something. Your blinds look good over there. Back side of the sofa bed looks nice. And then do got some scarring for some uh, traveling, it looks like. Nice display bracket of some sort, I'm not sure. There's a tie down for a car seat if it needs it. The carpet looks good. Vacuum, jack storage. Just kind of shoot up back here. So they definitely had something in the back, um, in and out, or loaded something quite often back here. But like I said, body wise, I can't see uh, any damage whatsoever. Tiny things across the front. Sofa bed is the three piece design. As you can see, the center section is uh, hidden when it's in up form, so you don't have that part when the seat goes up. Again, I'll put it back down, put that back up for you. So that part disappears and just becomes a normal seat again. And that bottom section hangs out right here. Here you have your subwoofer for your entertainment is in there. Oh, can't see it, sorry. But it's in there. The side. here. See that? Carpet looks decent. A little bit of wear there. Uh, the seats do... No. These are not swivel seats. So this is kind of unusual. These seats do not swivel, but they are quick release. Center console. 
So your Blu-ray, some storage, your rear heat and air controls, 110 volt for a game console hookup, 12 volt power, HDMI in, TV speakers on and off. Of course, there's wireless remote controls for your entertainment system. Cooler up front. This uh, center uh, section does have two quick release on each side. It does come out if you want it to. And then your rear air is controlled by the control up front. There's your lower ceiling and then driving light uh, switch cluster along with the sunroof. And I don't see any uh, signs of water damage or leaking. Hands-free controls in the steering wheel. You have your factory touchscreen, tow haul mode, your 12 volt power, traction control on and off. Airbag OnStar 110 volt again, 5 volt charging, 12 volt charging. There's your center glove box. Front seats looks like they have new uh, leather covers put on. I'm assuming the old gray ones had wear that was not acceptable. All the captain's chairs look to be in good shape. They're two tone gray, no punctures, stains, or tears that I see. Turn your dimmer switch up. I'll drop your blinds real quick, real quick. Uh, a nice blind, stain free, mood lighting's working, center working. These seats are nice as well. 5 volt USB charging. On back to your sofa bed. I don't see any flaws with the uh, back seat either. <clears throat> got a ring on this one so it won't come down I'm not sure I'm not sure how to undo that right now so I'm gonna leave that alone for the moment uh, you do have your flip down TV since being a low top they don't have a big screen in here What's that? Okay, I gotta turn it on or something that's the uh, the TV or the Blu-ray? I'm not sure. This looks like it's the TV here, so... Okay. There you go. HDMI 1. We're coming on. Something's happening. Ah, oh, that's it. Okay. Well, God, obviously need a DVD. I have those here if you want to watch something. I can certainly turn it on. Okay, well, I'm not sure how to get all that powered up right now without a DVD in it, so I'll do that if need be. But other than that, pretty clean van. Doesn't smell funky. Uh, doesn't smell like it's been smoked in or used to transport pets or anything. I don't see it's been all tore up. Outside, body-wise, it's super, super clean. Inside, a couple little things here and there, a little bit of wear. Nothing hateful. So I'll ship this out to you so you can have a look. I'm sorry for the delay, but uh, I think they were replacing the seat covers, I think is what's going on, because... Uh, they were. They have a, uh, certain years and certain colors, like the two-tone inserts. These were originally bonded leather and used to wear out pretty quickly. So these are brand new seat covers. I can see that. So I'm going to guess that when it was gone, it was getting the seat covers put on it. So that's why I couldn't find it. So I'm going to ship this out to you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.